alaikum and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information, knowledge and skills that you need to be able to improve your overall health and well-being. And that's very important in this day and age where we constantly hear different um, information, conflicting evidence and news that tells us that we should eat this or that we should avoid this and this is what we can do to um, improve our health in the long run. The aim of the show is for us to go through some of that information and help you um, for when you, uh, the times when you do break your fast um, um, in the month of Ramadan but also after that as well. Today's topic are some quick top tips uh, for Fudur and what's important to keep in mind when it comes to Fudur. Now, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that after a full day of fasting, you're going to want to overeat everything quite quickly. However, what you need to keep in mind is just to take it very slow and very easy. Because after a long period of fast, if we eat a lot quite quickly, that could lead to things like feeling bloated, feeling tired um, and not, um, not wanting to be active anymore. So when it comes to your fudur, always try and eat slowly and don't overeat. So try to have small things regularly rather than just one big meal. So start off with, for example, um, a few dates or a glass of juice or maybe just some water to get rehydrated. Um, and then slowly have small portions regularly rather than just one big meal quite quickly. Um, during the times when we fast, we might um, feel dizzy, we might feel tired at first, but that's absolutely fine. Your body will be able to adapt to this quite quickly and your, bo your body will get used to functioning um, on a new energy level. Now, for the people who are used to um, having a caffeinated drink, coffee or tea in the morning, for example, or quite regularly, what's important to keep in mind is to try and wean yourself of the, co of the caffeine slowly before you actually start fasting. Sometimes if you don't have, uh, because of the caffeine um, and because there is no energy coming in, um, those symptoms might uh, feel just a little, little bit harder to cope with during the times when you're fasting. So having, having caffeine as soon as you break your iftar will not always be the best thing to do. Um, but again, it's just finding out what is it that suits you best. Um, but another thing that you could do is to try and wean yourself off the caffeine before or maybe try fasting a few days before the actual month of Ramadan starts so you don't um, experience those symptoms. And when you do break your futur, it's very important to have a balanced meal that will keep your body uh, full that will give you the energy and the nutrients that you need to be able to function well the next day. So remember, try and have your photo slowly and regularly, um, small portions regularly, and um, make sure that the food that you're eating is what's going to help your body function well the next day. Thank you for joining us. And I hope now you know uh, some of just the, some of the top tips that you can implement that will help you to improve your fatur meal. Thank you for joining us and Ma'asana.